Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and Apple has just recently released the newest update to iOS 15, iOS 15.2. It comes with a bunch of new features and changes, but also new settings that you should configure the right way. There will be also other settings that have been here before that you must change and of course have them configured the right way on your device. So in this video, I will show you guys 15 settings that you should change right now on your iOS 15.2 device. With iOS 15.2, we get limit IP address tracking under seller data options. So go to settings at the top at the seller data, you have seller data options and make sure you have this enabled. So basically we'll prevent trackers from tracking you by hiding your IP address. And that of course will happen on mail and Safari with this option. Now this used to be on Safari, we're gonna talk about that in a second, but now it's right here under seller. So when you're using seller, you will have your IP address hidden. You of course have the same option under your Wi-Fi networks. Go to any Wi-Fi network you're connected on, just have the little I button and right here will find the same limit IP address tracking, but now for your Wi-Fi networks. Moving on to Safari, as I just talked about limit IP address tracking, this has been here before on Safari, make sure you have it turned on by enabling from trackers right there. So basically your IP address can be used to determine location and stuff like that. What this will do, this option will hide your real IP address so trackers won't be able to know basically your location and stuff like that based on your IP address and that's really really good. This will work on all websites while using Safari. It's a great great feature to have. Now another setting I suggest you should turn on is also found right here under the privacy and security section right here under the Safari settings. Prevent cross-site tracking. Prevent trackers from tracking you from site to site. Stuff like advertisements and stuff like that will be prevented so make sure you have this enabled. Now, of course, with iOS 15.2, there comes the new option to add legacy contacts. You can add them from here. Just go to the top of the settings app under your Apple ID, go to passwords and security. You will have legacy contact right here. Simply go ahead and tap on add legacy contact and you can go ahead and add any contact from your contacts list as your legacy contact. Now you can see right here, splash screen, it says add someone you trust. And of course you will have to share an access key with them, which you will get once you have added that contact. So just tap here and choose any of your contacts. So once you have selected one of your contacts, just tap on continue right here and you will get basically now the access key, which you can print or if you have a contact for which you have only an email or stuff like that. But if you have a contact that you also have their phone number, you will be able to also send it as an iMessage directly from here. Always make sure you have mail privacy protection turned on. You can find that under the mail settings, go to privacy protection and make sure you have this enabled. This will basically protect your mail privacy. It makes it really hard for senders to follow your mail activity. So just like IP address tracking, this will basically work the same way. So always make sure you have this turned on. A new setting on iOS 15.2 can be found under emergency and SOS. You will have call with five presses. Now I turned this off even though it might be a good feature for someone, but I accidentally turn it on all the time, always while cleaning my iPhone. So I turned this off and now you have the ability to do that with iOS 15.2. You can turn off the call with five presses. We will of course always have here call with hold which lets you do the same thing by holding one of the volume buttons and the side button both at the same time. Now with iOS 15.2 Apple has added a great new setting. So when you go to privacy you will have here app privacy report. Now you cannot change any setting here. We, we just want to look at something here and then I will show you guys what you need to check. So right here you will have data and sensor access. All these apps right here are having access to your data and the sensors of your device. So if we go to one of them like Snapchat, for example, you can see what it used right here. My contacts, my camera, my microphone, as well as my pictures. Now, if you go here, you take a look at the apps, you see an app that is using something it shouldn't, maybe your mic or stuff like that. And you can go ahead and go back here and go to any of these sections. Let's say I don't want to, I don't want Snapchat to actually use my microphone. What you do, you go to microphone, 
find the app here and just go ahead and turn it off. So make sure to check, check your new app activ activity report and from there find out if any app is using something it shouldn't and then you can go ahead and turn on or off those settings from here. Moving on to the messages settings, right here we have at the top focus. Now, if you have that enabled, you allow iMessages to show your focus status. And that will be probably very, very useful. You want people to know your status, maybe you're at work, or maybe you're maybe gaming or and doing anything else you basically have your status shared with iMessage so I always suggest that you turn that on now another thing that I suggest you do is take a look at your notifications this is another setting that you should change because with the new scheduled summaries that Apple has added on iOS 15 you might miss a lot of important notifications so what I suggest you do go to apps like messages in this case so if I go to messages right here I can enable time sensitive notifications so basically what it will do it will always immediately deliver my notifications from the messages app that's really important and if you add maybe like stuff like Instagram or Facebook Messenger or stuff like that if you add them to your scheduled summary I suggest you do one thing go to Instagram here in this case if you have scheduled summary turned on always make sure you have always this setting enabled this setting right here direct messages this will allow for direct messages to come immediately and not just be placed on the scheduled summary because you might miss some really important DMs if you use focus on iOS 15, I suggest you add an automation to the focus that will make it run automatically and of course is very very useful. You go to focus right here, you go to one of your focuses and of course you can go ahead and add a schedule or an automation. So what you can do here is add maybe a location. So here we have the mindfulness focus so what i can do here is add a location so whenever i arrive that location maybe my home that all that focus will start automatically or any time of the day or when i open any app like books for example it will automatically run that focus that's really really cool and of course super useful when you go to any of the focus modes you will of course have here allowed notifications so you will have your apps and you will have your people as well what i suggest you do here under people go to calls from and always make sure that you have enabled allow repeated calls someone calls you twice the call will come in maybe it's an important call so always make sure you have this enabled Moving on to the weather settings with iOS 15, Apple has added a really cool option with the weather app. When you go to notifications right here, you can go ahead and tap on weather notification settings. It will take you to the app and right here you will be able to actually enable notifications for any of the locations that you have added to the list and of course your location and you will get notifications right away when it will start to snow or to rain or there will be a storm or stuff like that you will get notifications all the time on your lock screen for any of the locations that you choose translation is much much better with ios 15 but there is one setting that you shouldn't forget to turn on go to translation make sure you have enabled on device mode this will let you translate to a lot of languages even though your device might not be connected to the internet. That will be super useful but always make sure that you have downloaded the languages from the list right here. And last but not least, going to privacy, location services always really really important especially for the performance and battery life of your device. Make sure you take a look at these apps here and see if you find any apps that you don't want to have your location make sure you go ahead and change that and when you go to one of the apps you can enable or disable precise location now i suggest you disable that for most apps most apps don't actually need to know your precise location so make sure you go ahead and check this and see which apps will have your precise location and which not and turn off the ones that you know don't need to have your precise location so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and of course make sure you go ahead and check all these settings and see if you have them configured the right way on your iphone again thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one